Hi. Today we'll be looking at the uh, 11 rack, which is this. Alright, so this is the 11 rack that I'm currently using. It's just a two space effects unit where it has all the amp modeling and all the effects that I need except for the harmonizer which I use a TC electronic Nova system at the back of the rack right there which is connected to the effects loop of the 11 rack but that's pretty much the rig that I'm using right now so it's just this no amps, no speakers. Connect this straight to the PA of whatever venue we're using. So I'll be using the 11 rack connected to a, um, an alto powered speaker straight. Um, not, nothing in between there. So basically the sound will be from the guitar to the 11 rack straight to the speaker. So I'll be going through different presets that I've made. Basically just clean, crunch, and more of a dirty, much distorted sound. I'll try to use different guitars. Right now I'm using Ibanez Prestige, which has a mahogany body with a flamed maple top, using DiMaggio pickups, Crunch Lab on the bridge, and Liquifier on the neck. So let's see how it sounds. This first one is my clean channel which is based on the clean channel of a uh, Soldano amp, the uh, SL-0100, I believe, to a 412 cabinet with Classic 30 speakers, which is using a flanger effect with some delay, a little bit of EQ and reverb. So here it goes. pickup now I'll go to the neck pickup most of you will probably recognize this song okay now we'll try the clean channel with an Ernie Ball Music Man JP12 um, this one uses a basswood on the body with a mahogany block somewhere in there. The fretboard on this one is an ebony fretboard compared to the rosewood fretboard from the Ibanez Prestige. Same pickups, DiMaggio Crunch Lab and Liquifier. So let's see how it sounds. <laughs> Now the JB12 has a piezo pickup, so we'll try to combine the magnetic pickups with the piezo. <laughs>
let's try and look at the crunchy sound or crunch sound on the uh, 11 rack. This one is based on a Marshall plexiglass on uh, 412 greenback speaker cabinet. Right now the effects I'm using for this one is pretty much dry so I'm just going with a compressor and a little bit of reverb again. This time I'll be using another Ernie Ball guitar, um, Ernie Ball Music Man Luke 3, which is Steve Lukather's signature model. So this one uses an alder wood for the body. The uh, neck on this one's pretty cool because it is all rosewood, so not just the fretboard but also the whole neck at the back. The uh, Ibanez Prestige that I used earlier had a rosewood, which is pretty much this, but the back was made out of maple. The other Ernie Ball that I used earlier, which was the JP12 guitar, had a, um, no, an ebony fretboard with a mahogany back. So this one is all rosewood, so let's see how it sounds. This one is on the crunchy side. <laughs> distortion, just your basic ACDC rock and roll type of sound. different pickups. Um, I was using the Margio Crunch Lab and Liquifar on the Ibanez and the JP12. On this one it uses the Margio Transition pickups which were designed specifically for this guitar. Now let's try the Crunch Channel on the Prestige, the Ibanez. <laughs> distorted channel that I use. This will mainly be the channel that I'll be using on all my gigs with the 11 rack. So this one is based again on the Soldano SL100 or SL100 amp with 412 greenback speakers again. This one's pretty much dry, just the amp and a little bit of reverb again. So here we go using the Ibanez. <laughs> Let's try to put a little bit of delay 
and we'll put in some phaser just a little bit, but for now let's put some delay in that one. This time, same channel, but let's switch guitars and use the JP-12 Ernie Ball Music Band guitar. No delay. <laughs> This time we're going to put a little bit of phaser effect in there to give it that known Van Halen sound to um, this channel. Let's try it out. <laughs> So that's pretty much it, the 11 rack, I use it on all my gigs right now, I used to use a Mesa Boogie Dual Rectifier Half Stack, but I'm getting too old so I'm trying to use less equipment as much as possible, I can't carry that much stuff anymore. So usually I just use the 11 rack straight to the PA system of whatever club or venue we're using, really simple.
the loving rack does all the stuff so anyways hope you guys enjoyed the uh, small presentation and uh, if you got any comments or questions just let me know cool see ya